Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Washington's War from GMT Games. Looks like Mark Herman is the author, and it's about the American Revolution. It says it's a card-driven game. This will probably be good because everything else I've played by Mark Herman has been good. All right, it says, Washington's War is a long-awaited redesign of the original card-driven game, We the People. Washington's War, like its predecessor, pits the forces of a world power, who is England, against its rebellious American co colonists as they fight for their independence. It says it's a true redesign that maintains a deep strategy of We the People while creating a game with a very short playing time, about uh, 90 minutes. Unlike most war games, Washington's War allows you and your opponent to play twice while switching sides in one sitting. This feature allows for rapid tournament play, either face-to-face -face or on the internet. Washington's War is a perfect antidote for a time-conscious crowd whose only options up to now have been Euro games. Sounds cool. Let's see what it says about complexity. It says complexity is low on the higher end of low, though, and solitaire suitability is low. And it's going over the components here, but we'll, we'll look at them inside. Nice box, very sturdy, good material. This glossy material generally holds up better against shelf wear than uh, the non-glossy I've uh, noticed empirically, at least. Here's a rule book. Let's see how many pages this is. Looks like it's 23 pages and it's in color. And it's going over the playing pieces. You have a strategy rating, a potential battle rating, an agility rating, and a modifier to agility rating. Interesting. Looks like some of them are stand ups. Alright, it's going over setting up the game. And here's a sequence of play, that's what we're interested in. It's got a reinforcement phase, strategy cards phase, strategy phase, and then a winter attrition phase, French naval phase, and a political control phase. Where does the combat take place? I wonder what phase that occurs in. Well, okay, looks like it takes place during the strategy phase. Looks like there's alternate impulses. And you pl uh, play until your cards run out. Okay. This sounds a little bit like, uh, there's a game from Worthington Games, I had reviewed it, I liked it quite a bit, I uh, can't remember the name of it offhand, that was a card driven game, that sounds like that's got some similarities to this. Alright, talk about dealing cards, playing the apps cards. Alright, so this is all about playing cards here. And then activating generals. British naval movements. And going over reinforcements and battles here. Hmm. Interesting. And here it's talking about political control. And here's going over winter attrition. So even though it's 23 pages, it doesn't look like it's too going to be too difficult of a read. It looks like uh, probably you can get through it in one sitting. So that's cool. And it looks like there's automatic victory, in which occurs during the strategic phase or the winter attrition phase of any turn. And the British uh, automatic victory occurs the instant no American or French combat units remain on the map, including Canada. An American automatically vic automatic victory occurs the instant no British combat units remain in any of the 13 colonies. And then there's a game end victory. Looks like you use uh, political control. Uh, hold on one sec. Okay, so you count the colonies controlled by each side. Okay, so colonies, I guess, count as victory points. I right, have this here. This looks like this is something printed off the internet, maybe. It's real, it, it, it's like a printer paper, so. Oh, created by Michael Campbell, Major Schulte. So it looks like something one of the fans of the game created. That's cool. Same with this. Maybe. 
I'm just guessing. It doesn't seem like the usual paper that GMT Games uses for their player aid cards, but what do I know? Maybe it is the official one, I'm not sure. And here's the game setup. Well, this one's on printer paper, too. Hmm. Could also mean that the guy who owned this game before me lost the player aids things and uh, just copied them from someone, too. That's a possibility. Yeah, here's another version of the rules here. Something he got off the internet. Okay. This looks like a real player aid card. This is the same material that uh, GMT always uses the good stuff, so... Those other ones might have been something off the internet. So it's got the sequence of play on it. Ops, it talks about the ops cards, uh, discarding events, strategy cards, American PC marker, location, British PC marker, not location, I meant isolation, and marker isolation. And some stuff about the French Alliance. And a combat procedure along with actual getting your actual battle rating and combat losses and combat resolution die roll modifiers and another copy for the other player always a good idea to have a second copy good job and here's a playbook oh nice it's got examples of play here so I'll make it e help you if you have any questions about the rules you can read through this that's nice All in color, too. And here's some player notes. Nice. And here's some design notes from Mark Herman. Cool. Okay, we got a big hefty map here. Let me move this other stuff out of, out of the way. It's a nice mounted map. That's good. It's a long but thin map. As you can see, it's point to point. And on the bottom here, you got the French Alliance track and keep track of the game turn. And you also have the combat resolution die roll markers. Nice looking map. See if there's anything else in this box. Here we have the playing pieces. They're stand ups. That's cool. Looks like the guy who owned this before me did a good job taking care of the game. Okay, here's all the cards and the inside of the box is decorated. I love when they do that. Three apps. Two apps. One app. See what's in the other pile of cards here. Mostly one apps, and then you got minor campaign, major campaign. Jane McCrea, Indian Atrocities, Sparks Outrage. Lieutenant Colonel Simcoe's Queens Rangers. Benastri Tarleton's. Waxhaw's Massacre. Mad Anthony Wayne. Cool. Yeah, this looks fun. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.